Hi, I'm Adrian from One Agency. It's the middle of October, which means we're now in the middle of spring. And did you know this about the Sunbury real estate market? The price range with the most sales in the last seven days, where the buyers are coming from and why, and I've also got some great new properties about to hit the market, which I'll talk to you a little bit about later. First time property investors are driving a surge in home loan approvals, and they are being lured into the market by low interest rates and loosening credit rules, particularly from the small lenders. Investor home loans grew at their fastest pace in almost three years in August, and mortgage brokers said smaller lenders continue to take business away from the larger banks. New data shows that Macquarie and AMP have expanded their market share to 11.36% and 3.58% respectively, emerging as big winners. We're seeing a lot of new investors coming in and they're being encouraged by lower interest rates and they're getting their loans approved faster than existing investors. This is due to the banks tightening the different parts of their servicing calculators, which is making it harder for the investors with multiple properties to qualify for a loan. Some banks have reduced the proportion of rental income they take into account when calculating an investor's borrowing capacity from 80% down to 70%, which means those with multiple properties are already behind the eight ball on borrowing capacity compared to new investors. This is forcing investors now to seek out finance from the smaller lenders. And the latest AFG data shows loan volumes now approaching a 50-50 split between the major and non-major banks, something unheard of as little as five years ago. Newer investors are also getting mortgages through quicker than, ex than existing investors because it's simpler to process their loan applications. Non-major banks accounted for 45.9% of the mortgages that were written in the September quarter, the highest level since 2007. Let's take a quick look at the impact this is having in the local market in Sunbury. We know in the last seven days that we've had seven homes com confirmed as sold, the lowest being a home at 480,000 and the highest at 640,000. This is very, very consistent with where we're seeing investors come into the market. Now at one agency, we've got a number of new properties about to hit the market in the next seven days. They include 23 Irvine Close in the Guntree Hills Estate, 26 Keith Avenue, a great home, five bedroom home at 10 Oaker Place in the Jackson's Hill Estate, and a brand new home in the Rosenthal Estate at 12 Light Horse Circuit. A property recently released to the market by our team last Sunday was number eight Atkinson Close. It's generated significant interest in the sub 600,000 price point, and we see another fantastic result imminent in the next few days. Three other fantastic results in this price range include 253 Riddles Road, 303 Gap Road, and 67 Collins Street. All of them sold in that first home buyer's part of the market, which is sub 600,000, and they all sold over the weekend, exceeding our vendors' expectations. I'm Adrian from One Agency, and I love helping people understand our local market. If you'd like help planning, selling, or buying, give me a call today so that we can help you with a strategy that will work best for you. Thank you.